Very good morning from California to everyone out there. Good day, good evening. Uh, so I'm very happy to be able to share with you our recent uh, accomplishment uh, in drafting the next version of the IGS strategic plan. We're calling it the 2021 plus strategic plan uh, in order to give it a forward-looking vision in, right in the title. So in 2020, despite a global pandemic and interruptions in our life and work schedules, the IGS continued to sustain our community's needs. While delivery of the IGS reference frame, orbit, clock, and atmospheric products continues to be driving our core activities, the IGS transformation to a multi-GNSS service is of highest priority, and this is reflected both directly and indirectly throughout our strategic plan. The IGS continues to coordinate a collaborative research infrastructure and provide operations at the global scale, operating as a service of the International Association of Geodesy, as we know, and a contributor to GIGOS. Together, we can build a strong, sustainable, and resilient multi-GNSS future for our community and the public that we serve. The plan was developed by the IGS Governing Board with the help and support of the Central Bureau and guided by extensive community feedback and discussions. It presents a forward-looking strategy addressing the role of IGS as facilitator, incubator, coordinator, and advocate working towards three major goals in service to our community and beyond. The plan focuses on how IGS maintains and enhances its leadership role within the broader GNSS community as societal demands for GNSS products and services continues to grow. Central to the goals and objectives are the complementary roles of the IGS as both a collaborative research program as well as an operational service. The plan seeks to maintain appropriate balance of the two roles to ensure ongoing support from associate members and contributing organizations. The IGS 2021 plus strategic plan has been balanced to address both internal and external factors driving IGS organizational growth towards multi-GNSS technical excellence. By setting a goal of achieving multi-GNSS technical excellence, we strive to increase organizational capability by identifying barriers to multi-GNSS success throughout the IGS, supporting solutions to key challenges, and reinforcing the importance of continuous technical evolution. Our second goal is to strengthen outreach and engagement. Objectives of this goal will guide advocacy for open access geodetic and GNSS data and products that facilitate collaborations, standardization, and inclusivity. Looking forward, implementation of this plan will include ensuring sustainable and resilient contributions to the IGS community and its work, as that it is our contributors, as well as their high levels of commitment that have ensured the high level of performance and reliability of product generation and delivery just thus far. So as you can see, the plan continues in the spirit of previous strategic plans and that is intended to guide our service to the community. It is our hope that this guidance will plan guidance in this plan will ensure the best possible IGS for the ever-growing community of users relying upon its openly available high-quality GNSS data and products. Uh, you can find the IGS plan on, uh, on our website. I will uh, show the link of very soon, but uh, just to circle back to what we were talking about uh, earlier, the, we really had a great and multifaceted way of um, engaging with our community. Uh, we had a community dialogue sessions at, uh, at major events, as Mia Harsan uh, noted, and we also conducted a community-wide survey. And these were really uh, very important ways of, of assessing the needs of our community and our organization in a, to, uh, to ask these questions in different ways and to be able to have enough time to really consider the community's needs and how we can uh, mold our strategic plan towards uh, helping achieve those. And so uh, we would encourage you to visit the, uh, the new IGS website. It's, it was refreshed uh, 
a little over a year ago and is constantly in improvement. Uh, but there you can find uh, the link to the download the strategic plan and find out more. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Alison, for the report of the uh, IGS uh, strategic plan. Uh, any comments and questions to Alison? I have a short question, Alison. This is Harald Schuh speaking. Could you briefly summarize what is new in the strategy of IGS? <laughs> what are the highlights? What are the biggest changes? Well, I would say that the one of the biggest changes would be that we're really bringing uh, outreach and engagement and sustainability and resilience to the forefront and trying to, uh, across all of our goals, uh, we do have a priority of helping the organization become a truly multi-GNSS uh, organization. So uh, in a in more of a structural way, the, I would say the highlight is this matrix format. Uh, we never had this before and, and the, the matrix format really uh, is a product of our community consultations. Uh, both uh, in person when we <laughs> when we, for we fortunately were able to have a few in person uh, consultations in 2019, uh, and then we had an extensive uh, uh, open community survey, and and so with the help and and collaboration of the governing board, we went over and we considered what the previous strategic plans uh, contained, and a lot of them did contain the, the spirit of, of what is reflected here in this matrix, but we tried to really organize it in a way so that you could understand uh, the goals of the organizations and how we are hoping to uh, to address the community needs. And the, the community needs are really the, that facilitation, coordination, incubation, and advocacy that you see along the top. Thank you very much, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, any other comments and questions? Uh, thank you very much, Alison. Uh, I guess strategic plan uh, must be very uh, good example for uh, Jigos to uh, formulate the uh, Jigos new uh, strategic plan.